Now at four, gas, groceries, rent, and more. The price of almost everything rising faster than in decades. Inflation hits a 40-year high. Good afternoon. I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Amy Johnson. And for Susie Sa, this is KCAL 9 News at 4, streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Now, many households are really mm -hmm. feeling the crunch. Inflation jumped more than 9% last month compared to a year ago. It's the biggest increase since 1981. So here is how it breaks down for the things you need to spend money on. Rent is up more than 5.5%, a rate not seen since 1991. Yeah, and you see this on your receipt every week, but grocery prices are up more than 12%. They haven't jumped that much since 1979. And although gas prices have started coming down, we're paying 60% more than a year ago. All of this shows more people need help making ends meet. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal is live at a food bank in Monrovia that is seeing the situation firsthand. Jasmine? Yeah, you know, there was a line of cars out here today. And you can see this warehouse at this food bank, the Foothill Unity Center, thankfully has enough food right now to meet the demand, but they always need more. And if you look over here, you can see the type of food that they're offering, everything from canned food to, of course, all the fresh stuff, the salads, the fruits and the veggies. Now, ironically, I was told that this food bank is getting more food from the grocery stores because, well, people just can't afford to buy it. Bags of free groceries were loaded into people's cars outside the Foothill Unity Center in Monrovia Wednesday. Lisa Valdivia picked up her free food for the week. Right now that it's really hard times for everybody. She actually works at the deli counter in a grocery store and can't afford to buy food there anymore as costs have soared with inflation. No, you know, inflation, everything. I work, can't mention the market, but you know, I feel bad for the customers when they look at us like, wow, this went up. Pasadena City College student Kevin Martinez is picking up food for him and his parents and says he tries to cut back where he can. Notice the gas, but I really try to not use my car as much. I got a skateboard, a bike, and also have a motorcycle. I go to the school on that. It really helps. Uh, also the train. Mike Antonesi with the Foothill Unity Center says at the beginning of the pandemic, they went from helping 4,000 to 12,000 families a year. And while it has dropped off some, he expects to see more people coming in as long as prices continue to go up. We are still meeting the need here in the, in the community as best we can. It's the same story at food banks across L.A. County. How are you going to keep up with the demand? Well, we're going to try to maximize the food supply coming in. We're going to start increasing food purchases again. And it's not just food. The cost of medical care also rose in June. The Unity Center's free annual USC Dental Clinic was fully booked this week, with more than 100 people getting treatments and dozens more on the wait list. USC business economics professor Rodney Remcheron says inflation is impacting even workers who got a typical 5% pay raise. 9% increase or a 9.1% increase in inflation means that roughly for the typical person, they've gotten a 4 percentage point pay cut. Um, so, so that's not great news. He's hopeful that as oil prices go down, the price of food will also drop. And some signs are showing inflation will cool off in July. Also, economists say that if there is a decline in inflation, it usually comes at the expense of an increase in unemployment. By the way, this center here in Monrovia is open. Also, there's one in Pasadena. Live here in Monrovia, Jasmine, VOK Cal 9 News. Jasmine, thank you. And if you are in need of help putting food on your table or want to donate to help others, we have links and resources on our website. Head over to kcal9.com and click Seen on TV.